In this video, I wanted to show you some of the options that you have with the deleting and moving the destination of responses to your forms. This is something that might come in handy if you are reusing a form multiple years or over the course of multiple periods in a day, or maybe you use it once a month for your monthly meeting at your company. Um, but this, these are some ways that you have some customization uh, as to where those responses lay. So first off, you have your form ready to go. And if you click on responses at the top tab, uh, right now I have zero responses. Nobody has responded to my form. So I have some options as to where my responses are going to show up. I can just have them appear here in the form. I can also uh, send them to a spreadsheet. If I click on the create spreadsheet, it will make a new spreadsheet right away for this form. I can also click on the three vertical dots and say select response destination. This will again give me the option to make a new spreadsheet or, so there's my new spreadsheet, or I can add this to an existing spreadsheet. Uh, when I was teaching, I actually used that a lot. I had one place where I had all of my um, check-ins sent to, and then I could have everything stored in one spreadsheet, and I didn't have to go between all sorts of different things. Highly suggest doing that um, if you are so someone who's using it frequently. For this purpose, I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. So it says my spreadsheet has been linked, so I'm going to open that up. Now to, to make sure that your spreadsheet is linked to your form, you'll notice that there is a little forms icon down at the bottom that says, hey, this spreadsheet is linked to a particular form and any responses that come in will populate in this spreadsheet. So let's take our form, make a response to see what that would look like. I like plants. All right, so my response has been recorded, and if we go over to my spreadsheet, there we go, there's my response, it's already been recorded. And uh, you can also see your responses in the responses tab for your form, and it shows up there. Uh, and uh, so again, you can kind of see, well, for my purposes, which view is best, I always put it in a spreadsheet, you can do more with a spreadsheet. Now let's say that you've had people who have filled out your form and you don't want to see all those responses. It's a new year. You want to have a graph that shows your new year's responses. You can go up to the uh, three vertical dots and you have a couple of options for things to do. One thing that you might want to do, think about doing is unlinking a form. So let's say people are still filling out your form and it's past the deadline. You can unlink the form so those responses don't show up in your spreadsheet. However, uh, the form is still live. Another thing that you can do is you can delete your responses. So if I delete all my responses, I say yes, I'm going to delete these responses because I don't want them anymore. Now one thing you might be thinking of is, what if I still wanted to have the archive of those responses? Remember that we had these in a spreadsheet, and once the responses are logged in the spreadsheet, you are not going to be able to delete them. They're going to be there forever, which is kind of nice. So let's say I'm using my form um, a second year. What I did was I deleted my responses, and then I am going to unlink my form. So that means that it's no longer linked to that particular spreadsheet, and so any responses that come in are not going to show up there. You can see that in your form spreadsheet, the little forms icon goes away that says this is no longer linked. You can also unlink your forms from the spreadsheet view. Uh, oops, they went away since I already unlinked it. There's forms up in the menu, and you can find unlink in that. Now, it's a new year. I'm ready to send my form out to my new group of people. I can do that. And I can choose to uh, a new response destination. I can do a new linking with my responses. This time I'm going to select an existing response. Say select. 
and I'm going to add them to that same uh, spreadsheet. I know you're going, but you just unlinked it. Yes. However, if we look at our spreadsheet, you'll notice what I did was I unlinked, I unlinked the particular sheet, not the, and so I was able to create a new sheet in which my new responses will show up. And even though it seems like nobody has responded to my form yet, zero responses, those old responses were still cataloged in the spreadsheet for the original link. Now that was a lot of different going back and forth between the form and the spreadsheet and the form and the spreadsheet. So, um, you know, it might be worth going back and watching the video a second time. I also highly suggest putting some comments in and I will respond to them ASAP. Um, I also think that you should take some time to play around with forms and spreadsheets to see how they work together. You might find that um, you can do more ha by having things in the spreadsheet, and I highly suggest you looking into using that for your form responses.